You guys recognize what this is? The calendar. Yeah, that's my appointment calendar. I've got an appointment here now. That's just this for this week. So there are some things on there that I didn't want to forget. So I wrote them down to make sure that I would remember that I have an appointment, who it's with, where it is, and wh when what it's for. So, uh, I don't have a doctor's appointment this week, but I have many other appointments. But what I want us to think about is Jesus had an appointment. Remember why Jesus came? To save us from our sins. And how was he going to do that? He was going to die on the cross and he was going to rise again. So he had an appointment in Jerusalem to die on the cross. That's why he came and he came at a specific time and he died at a specific time because that's what God had decided. Now did you know that there were some people who were trying to keep him from keeping that appointment, we're going to stop him from keeping that appointment? Yeah, about that. Yeah. Satan wanted to stop him from doing that. The Pharisees wanted to stop him from doing that. All the forces of evil wanted to stop him from doing that because when he died on the cross, we would all be free. And Satan doesn't want that. So he tried to get Jesus to think about something else, to go somewhere else. But you know what Jesus did? You are correct. He said, I will keep going to Jerusalem today and tomorrow, and on the third day I will be there to be arrested and to die, and after three days I'll rise again. Jesus kept that appointment because he loves us. Now, he invites us to come to his house. So we have an appointment. We have an appointment to come and worship and to thank him and to glorify him. We have an appointment to encourage each other. And we want to make sure we don't forget that. So sometimes we write that down. That's on my calendar. Maybe you should put it on yours. And we have an appointment every day to pray to him. Maybe you could ask your parents to help. We have an appointment to pray every day. We have an appointment to read every day. We have an appointment to worship God every day. Sometimes it helps if you do that at the same time. Like first thing you get up, Praise God. And before you eat, pray. But we want to remember that Jesus loves us so much that he kept that appointment. And now he wants to see us. And he wants to see us every day. So why don't we fold our hands, thank Jesus for what he's done, and ask him to help us to remember keep our appointments. Dear Jesus, thank you for keeping your appointment to die for me, to rise for me, and to make me your own. Help me keep my appointments so that I can pray to you, I can worship you, and I can honor you. In your name I pray. Amen. Okay, go ahead.